An important and characteristic process in the protoplanetary disk was material growth. So it all started with millimeter and submillimeter sized grains, something like corn rules, matrix, sea ice metals, and so on. These grains, from the very beginning, started to agglomerate into planetesimals, which took a couple of millions of years. These planetesimals, shown here in the sketch, are a couple of hundred meters to a couple of hundred kilometers in size. And is aggregated within the first millions to tens of millions of years into planets. Now these asteroids collided and also contained radioactive elements. These collisions and the decay of the radioactive elements, something like 26 aluminum or 60 iron, caused the heating of some of these planetesimals. Now this heating can either cause initially a metamorphic alteration of the planetesimals, or if the heat is very well exceeds the liquidous temperatures, then the planetesimal also starts to melt. And the undifferentiated planetesimals are those from which we get the chondrites, the most primitive material. So these still contain all the uh, smaller grains that formed in the protoplanetary disk. And studying these means we can study the process in the protoplanetary disk. The increased heating then um, produce the sort of primitive achondrites, so there is some initial start of maybe melting. They still contain some primitive material, but also some indication of um, severe heating events. And in between are the metamorphic planetesimals, which are classified by the petrologic type between 1 and 6 or 7. And then there are the differentiated planetesimals, from which we get, for example, the, the stone meteorites from the crust, the iron meteorites, so this is iron, this is stone from the core, and then in between there's something like palisite or mesosiderite um, meteorites. And when the, when, the, when the differentiation happens, then all the siderophile elements, something like iron and nickel and the platinum group elements, partition into the core. And the lithophile elements, silicon, magnesium, aluminum, calcium, they retain in the crust or the mantle, it's basically a mantle, because these are the lithophile elements. However, as these planetesimals or asteroids, it's the same, we call planetesimal in the early solar system, asteroids today. When these core form, it's not really because of the low gravity that necessarily there's a core that forms, but it could also be that inside such a molten um, planetesimal or asteroid, it's just a separation of the immiscible liquids, the silicate and the metal liquid, so the metal might form a blep somewhere in here. So this could be the metal, not necessarily in the center, or even there might be two or something like this. This is not entirely clear, but because of the low gravity, this is a possibility we, we should keep in mind and consider. So this is what happened to the to the planetesimals in the early solar system, and it's important to know there's the undifferentiated and differentiated, and this is also used, for example, for classification purposes.